Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do a unboxing review and demo on this Bissell Steam Shot. Now, before getting started, I do want to say this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. I did purchase this with my own money. Um, but so yeah, so it's done in this box. I have not opened it. I'm so excited. It's I've been having this sitting here for about three to four days now. Um, but I've been very strong for you guys because I want to open it with you guys. So that way we can see what we're dealing with and to see if it works, how it works and all that jazz, um, with this steam shot. So yeah, I can't wait any longer. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so my first thought of this when pulling it out, it's a bit heavy. Um, I hope it's not like too tiring or anything like that, but it might just be because my arms are sore. I've been working on the lawn and stuff, so um, might be that. And then here is, I believe it's a measuring cup. And it has 6.6 .6 ounce. And then it looks like we have a brush, a cloth, and I don't know what this is. And it looks like a whole bunch of other brushes. And I don't know, it looks like a nozzle or something. But I'm going to show you an upper close on this so you guys can see because I don't know if you can see it from that far. All right, so in our pamphlet, it has the product um, view here. And then on the next page, it has your operation on how to get started. And it has simply four easy steps, in my opinion. Um, it just says filling with water. I hope you guys can read that. If not, I'll read it for you. Push down on the safety cap while turning counterclockwise. Fill measuring cup to max fill line. Slowly pour water into steamer. Replace the safety cap by pushing down while turning clockwise. It also has a picture here on how to do it as well. And then it also says, note, you may substitute distilled or demineralized water for tap water. If your tap water contains a high level of mineral content as well as hard water the use of distilled or demineralized water is recommended do not add anything except cold water or you will cause damage to the heating element and void your warranty note empty tank after each use easy peasy so next is the power cord unwrap power cord before operating unit Indicator light, the red indicator light will go on when the unit is first plugged in. When the steamer is ready to use, the light will turn off. Steam trigger, push to release steam, remove protective package from nozzle and extension hose prior to use. Okay. All right, so on the next page, it has our tools and accessories. We have a extension hose. This is the extension hose. And it's for cleaning hard to reach areas attached to unit and used with the accessory nozzle attached. Okay, so B, accessory nozzle, which is this one, attached to unit or hose, use alone or with a tool attached. C, this one is called a detail brush tool, attached to end of the accessory nozzle for scrubbing stubborn soil, color coded for specific use, that is why we have the other color nozzles as well, the brushes. D is the flat scraping tool attached to the end of accessory nozzle for removing wallpaper, gum, and extra stick sticky messes. Awesome. E is the angle concentrator tool attached to end of accessory nozzle. And this is only selected models only as you guys can see 
and then we have F and this one is called a grout brush tool attached to end of the accessory nozzle for scrubbing small cracks and um, crevices and G is um, a fabric steamer tool attached to end of the accessory nozzle for refreshing and removing wrinkles on clothing or drapes attach cloth over tool and then lastly we have is H hooks onto H I'm sorry this is called a window squeegee tool hooks onto the fabric steamer tool without cloth for glass and window cleaning and then it also has here accessories included vary by model and then here is our steam cleaning um, all living areas stubborn soil that resists traditional hot water cleaning solutions and vigorous scrubbing can often be effective removed removed with high temperature steam baked on grease on the stovetop dried fruit juice in the refrigerator stubborn soap scum or sliding so shower doors gum on countertops steam makes all these work far easier to clean use your steam shot to soften and remove stubborn dirt grime dry hardened food and other household soil from hard services you can also use your steam cleaner to clean pet cages o m g that is so awesome okay so note always remove pets before cleaning obviously fill with cold tap water or distilled demineralized water connect the plug to an appropriate outlet when red indicator light turns off the steamer is ready to use press trigger to release steam wipe surface with a clean dry cloth okay okay on the next page um on the steaming refreshing clothes i did not receive that tool to um steam or refresh my clothes um, but if you do get that for your steam shot, then this section is for you guys. Um, but reading this here on the bottom, it, it excites me because I have so many plants. And it says your steam shot is a very versatile tool. Use it to give your house plants a refreshing cool cloud mist. By using at 12 inch or more away from plants, soften gum or adhesive for easier removal, soften glazing putty. On windows for easier removal, clean grills, clean coolers, clean sink garbage disposals, clean exhaust fan, reusable filters, always remove from fixture before cleaning. So, sounds very interesting and I cannot wait to try that and all my cleaning habits. <laughs> so, if you're having trouble shooting, here it has a reduced steam or no steam possible cause block steam nozzle um water tank may be empty and then it also has like your remedies unplug from outlet after unit has cooled clear blockage by inserting and removing a paper clip into a brass spray tip unplug allow to cool for five minutes and refill with water so this is if you're having problems with your steam shot so that's good to know and then on the next page, um, of course, it has here like your consumer services. And then the next one, it has your replacement parts. So it has like just everything that you need to know here about your steam shot parts. Steam shot parts. <laughs> and that is it, you guys. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it can do okay so we're going i was going to plug it in but if you notice if you have this type of outlet with just two you are going to need one of these and get them at lowe's or home depot i think they're only like 88 cents or something like that um and all you do is just attach this to your outlet that way you can use your cord and then simply just attach it to there like that but if you do have the one that has three, then you're totally fine and you do not need this part. Okay, and our light just turned on right now. So um, I think it's heating up. So it did, it did say once it's off, we are good to go and we can start using it. And then on here on top, it says that 
it is under pressure so what you want to do is just let out some steam you know so you know so it won't have so much pressure in there and you just want to carefully do that so you don't burn yourself now we can use it and make sure you take the velcro off before using it so that way we can extend our cord so cool it, it seems really powerful so i would be careful using this um, but so yeah so let's try it on some things and see how well it works okay so i'm gonna try it on my baseboards as you guys can tell it is really dirty all right so it said we can mist our plants with this so let's give it a shot you just want to stand a couple of feet away and start misting awesome
all right so i'm done playing with it i had to like really honestly force myself to stop using it because the i feel like the cleaning is endless on this um and i also absolutely am in love with it to be honest with you only because i as i was cleaning i was thinking well i used a cleaning product for that specific area and this actually is going to substitute that so we don't have to use so much cleaning products on um, our surfaces or anything like that and not only it cleans but I feel like it also deodorized and um, sanitized the area as well so I'm going to rate this a high nine the only reason why I don't give it a, a, a 10 is only because it, it's a little bit heavy for me in my opinion just for me because I have a bad wrist I have a ganglion cyst and it makes it difficult for me because you know it just this arm gets really tired and so I have to constantly be using this one but it also gets tired because I use this hand most of the time so it's just like a back and forth thing but other than that I absolutely love it I cannot wait to try it also in my car because um, I know it can go great on like taking out you know stains I'm sure I'm I don't know I feel like this can go above and beyond for us on our cleaning routine so I am really in love with this you guys so um, yeah I hope you guys give it a shot or if it's on your um, wish list on Amazon this is where I actually purchased it it was on Amazon I'll leave everything down below on the description box in case you guys are interested um, but so yeah so this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed and got some good information out of this but so yeah so I will see you guys on my next one bye thanks guys